The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman, women's golf head coach Suzanne Strudwick, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagles Sports Network as Coach Strudwick has unveiled the spring schedule for her team. And Coach, you're in the middle of the winter break, so let's reflect back on the fall for a moment. Three straight top three performances from the team. What really stood out to you about your group through the, through the first half of the season? Um, for me, it was just consistency. Um, I think we we started to to from the very first event, which was our toughest event, going up to the University of Indianapolis and playing in theirs, who was definitely one of the toughest fields that we um, encountered. Um, you know that our team um, started to solidify who they were. Um, their own identity and culture started to come out. And towards the end, um, I think we, we definitely saw who our top five, uh, top four were, five, six, and seven players. There's a little battle going on for those spots. So that's, that's all you can ask for a coach coming in to, the, to now the little bit of a break. Hopefully they'll, and they have. The culture and the, the work ethic of the girls is tremendous. Um, you know, they're, they're all continuing to practice and keep up, you know, working hard. Um, so I'm looking for the same. Um, I love the little battle at the bottom of the, the team um, for who's going to be the travel and who's going to make the individual spot. So we'll hopefully we'll keep that going heading into the spring. And you talk about keeping that going, and it's kind of what you could say the beginning of the spring slate kind of is because you're starting off with another conference event uh, as you head to the spring kickoff intercollegiate. Yeah. What is it about starting the, se the spring season so early on with conference opponents knowing that you're going to have that SAC championship just a couple months after? Yeah, exactly. I mean, unfortunately, that's one of the things that we have to encounter and be very adaptable and flexible with, uh, you know, is the weather. Um, you know, we're a little bit of a m more northern team. And so we get, you know, bad weather in January and February. And we have to be, you know, make our practice count when we get the good days, but work hard in, indoors when we don't. And luckily, we have the facilities now that we can do that. Uh, when I first came here, we didn't. So, you know, now that we do, so we're not using that as an excuse anymore. We, you know, we have the facilities, we have the areas where we can still get ready and be prepared, which is very important. Whenever you get really into the meat of the season itself, you have a brand new event that the team's going to be taking on at the Battle of Hilton Head. Uh, are there any challenges that really are presented for this first time event for the girls to head to a new place? Um, not really. We've been to Hilton Head before. Typically, those courses, uh, they're you know they're usually tree lined. You got some water to them. Um, you know we can look online and have a look at it beforehand. So it, you know we can have a general idea of what it's what it's going to be like. The turf conditions, weather conditions, green speeds, all that we're going to be fairly familiar with. So um, I know it's just, it one for me. Um, that I'm looking forward to because it will probably have the most conference teams in it. So have, being the second event um, in the last week in February will give us a really good insight as to what, not only what we're doing, but also what the other teams are doing and you know, what, what they're, you know, it's just keeping up with your opponents. And once you get out of that conference stretch, you could say you get back into non-conference play for the mm -hmm. most part, but it's familiar territory. Yeah. Bobby Nichols and her collegiate right down the road in Sevierville, and then the Sunoco Campbell Oil Classic. Yeah. What are you hoping to see growth-wise from the team? Because these are very familiar places where they've had multiple appearances. What growth do you want to see this time around? Yeah, the, the, just basically our you know, the, you know, upperclassmen, seniors, Taylor Hayes, Anna Davenport, that they show some leadership in those events talk to the you know the freshmen that i have that have made the team you know about those courses during practice rounds we're going to be a lot we've talked about that being a lot more intentional we've identified some areas in our practice rounds that perhaps we need to focus on a little bit more um, and definitely in the tournament play um, we're going to focus more on some certain areas i'm not going to give away um, too much but we are going to change up a little bit and and I am really looking forward to seeing the difference that that's going to make because it is going to make a difference so um, you know just having that leadership um, at the top and you know keeping the communication I know a lot of 
you know, coaches talk about that, the communication within the team and the teammates working together, talking, you know, making sure that those freshmen understand and know what to expect and what's, what's you know, what's going to happen, you know, what those golf courses are like that we've played before. And you mentioned the communication and the team aspect, and that was kind of a goal with last season, especially at this time yeah. of the year. What's the goal heading into the rest of this season with the spring, knowing that you do have such a staunch schedule ahead? Yeah, I think, you know, for me, it's it's the, the, the it's the development of the freshmen that we have. Um, they've showed an awful lot of, of promise. They have a lot of skill. Um, they're bringing a lot to our team. Um, and so it's just making sure that they um, that they're taking the responsibilities mm -hmm. of of practice being prepared they've had the fall season to understand you know what needs to the expectation level of our team um, definitely in our after tournament um, briefs that we have it, they see areas where that they should have done something different or better um, and it's, so each week we want to take that and improve and get better as a whole. But definitely those freshmen now, they're not, you know, they've had a season. So let's, you know, get on it a little bit more. Coach, thank you so much for your time and best of luck as you head into the spring. Thank you. She is head coach Suzanne Strudwick. I am Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network.